Okay, so iPadOS 17 has been released, so in this video, I'll be explaining to you what new features has come to the update on the iPad 10. So first off, let's take a look at the iPadOS 17 customization, and you'll see that when we press on customize, the customization is sort of like the one on the iPhone with iOS 16, but the only differences are that the widgets got moved to the left side of the screen, and also you can change up the boldness of the clock font. Now if we go to the home screen, you'll see that there's actually some new features here as well. First off, there's interactive widgets, and these basically allow you to interact with a widget without opening the app. And another feature here that was added is the brand new health app. And this was previously only available for the iPhone and iPod Touch, but it was finally brought to the iPad on iPad OS 17. And Apple also introduced the journal app, which basically allows you to store some of your past memories and some of your photos, but right now in iPad OS 17 beta, it hasn't come yet, and once the update is released, it should be there. Now for the next feature, just go into settings. Next, go over to accessibility and scroll down to assistive access. And it'll say here, assistive access provides an alternative iPad OS experience. Essential apps have been redesigned to be larger, share the same style and have fewer features. So in summary, enabling this feature will make the iPad operating system seem more easy to use. So the next feature is in the Safari section of settings. So when you go over to Safari, then you scroll down to here, you'll see there's profiles. And it also says profiles allow you to keep your browsing info separated. You may want to set up a profile for work or school. Your history, cookies, and website data will be separated for profile. And if you wanted to create a profile, just press in the new profile button. So up here, you'll see you can set the name to whatever you like. So for example, I guess at this to school. And then you could also customize the icon here. And down here, you could also set the custom settings. And once you're done with that, if you want to switch your profile in Safari, just open the Safari app and press in the button at the top left corner. Then there will be a button at the bottom to select your profiles. And you can select whatever profile you'd like. And that's basically it. Now, something I've noticed is that websites actually load a lot faster with iPadOS 17. I don't know if this is true for all people, but it definitely is for me. Now another feature I found in settings is in the screen time section. So when you go here, you'll see there's a new section for communication safety. And once you get past this, you can enable or disable this option to check for sensitive photos. And it says right over here, messages can detect nude photos before they are sent or viewed on your child's device and provide guidance and age appropriate resources to help them make a safe choice. Apple does not have access to the photos. So in summary, enabling the setting is going to prevent children from seeing inappropriate photos. Now another feature I want to cover here in settings is in the music section. So when you go into here, then you'll see there's an option for crossfade and when you enable it, you'll see that a slider will appear right underneath. So this basically allows you to change how many seconds it crossfades between different music. Now we still have one more feature to cover in the music app. So when we go into here, then we create a playlist. We can actually collaborate with people. So the person who you collaborate with, they can add or remove any songs that they like. Now there's also some more features in the messages app. So when we go into here, then press on the plus icon you'll see all the stickers got moved over here. And something you should note is that this button no longer records the audio that you say, but instead it just records the text. And if you want to record your actual audio, just press on this plus icon and tap on here and you'll be able to do so. So the last settings feature is just an easier way to reply to messages. All you have to do is swipe right on a message to reply to it. Now the contacts app actually got a ton of new features. So if you go into here, then you edit a profile and you press on edit again, you'll see that the customization is sort of like the one on the lock screen. So you could create multiple profile pictures, but you can only set one at a time. So a lot of you guys were hoping for a redesign control center and unfortunately it did not happen, but it will happen sometime soon. Now that is basically it for the iPadOS 17 review for the 10th generation iPad. 
I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next video.